Hi, my name is Nicole, and this is the CK Diary Podcast. I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, This week is 4th of July, and we have a lot of things going on this week. My husband is taking off, well, he has off Thursday for the 4th, and then he's taking off Friday the 5th because my best friend's coming into town and I'm throwing her bridal shower for her on Saturday. So he took off Friday so that I could go run errands and get everything together. And then we're gonna have the bridal shower on Saturday. And I am very, very excited. So this might be a short one because I've got a lot to do in the house before we do all of that. Um, The first thing I wanna talk about is if you follow Leah Loves to Knit on Instagram, You will probably have seen that she does a Gilmore Girls knit along every year. I think this is the third year that she's doing it. Um, And this year I am making bags for it. So I've got this Gilmore Girls bag. I wanted to do some kind of plaid. I wanted to either do like a flannel like Luke wears or um, plaid like Chilton. And I ended up finding like the perfect Chilton plaid. So that'll be at the bottom of the bag and the inside of the bag. These will have D-rings and handles. And I'm going to be making two sizes. I'm going to have a sock size bag and a sweater sized bag. I have not made the sweater bag yet, but this is the sample for the sock size. And I'll have the same three quart options that I have for all of my other bags. There's a dark brown leather, a light brown leather, and a white cotton cord. All right, so this week was good for finished objects. I will show you these socks first. Actually, these are the ones I finished second. I should have shown these second, but these are my Ready to Flamingo sock set by Florida Girl Fibers. These are, I, I cast on 64 stitches for these. I did 10 rounds for the cuff, 10 rounds for the leg, um, and then I did a contrasting heel, toe, and cuff. I love these socks. I use two and a half millimeter needles, uh, circulars. I did magic loop for these, the vanilla sock pattern by Crazy Sock Lady. All right, and these are the second socks that I finished this week. The yarn is Roller Rink, is the Roller Rink sock set by ALC Yarns, Avery Lane Creations. So cute. Um, I actually, I'll put a picture here of the like aerial view of me wearing them. Um, The top, like you can see there's like a large spot of black there and then kind of like two stripes of black there. Um, When I have my feet together, it kind of does like this cool squiggle effect. They look really neat together. And then I have that like little bullseye for the toe. I did the cuff and pink, the heel and the black, and then I just used the main color for the toe. And I really love the way it turned out. A good finished objects week for me, I think. Um... I wore these all week because I still have to weave in the ends on one of my Ready to Flamingo sock set socks. All right, and the last thing I have to show you this week is my sweater vest. So I showed you last week, I had part of the back panel done. This is the um, sweater vest, or the vest number two spring edition by My Favorite Things Knitwear. It was a pattern from 2020. Well, I finished the back panel. I finished the left front side, the right front side, and now I have all of the panels connected and I'm just knitting in the round. There's the armhole. I don't know if you can really see that on there. This yarn is the Wool of the Andes Worsted by Knit Picks and the color is Current? Current. So pretty. I love it. I am really hopeful that I'm going to have this done by the end of July. I've been really excited about working on it. So this has been pretty much all I've been working on since I finished the socks. Um, So I know I talked to you guys about some of my goals last week. I still have all the same. Um, I want to finish the hat for my uncle. I think I mentioned that last week. 
And then I'd like to um, finish this sweater vest. And once I finish the sweater vest, I'm going to work on my, I'll probably work on my uncle's hat and then I will work on my shawl. Um, the Sophie shawl. So I do need to work on that coziest memories, the fingering weight blanket. And I pulled out my, all of my fingering weight yarn the other day. I can't remember why, what was I looking for? I was looking for something for a specific project and it really made me feel inspired and really made me want to cast on some scrappy projects. I have lots of minis and I'd really like to make a cowl, um, like a pretty, maybe like a lacy cowl. Um, I did that lace work washcloth and I really, really enjoyed that. So I definitely want to do something lace work here soon. I've been looking at some tank tops that are lace work and things like that. Um, and then I had one more thing I wanted to share. Oh, so I actually, for a long time, ever since, well, I mean, I guess it hasn't been that long, but ever since I started making the bags, I've wanted to do something where I make the main fabric panels, um, either like a crocheted granny square or knitted, something of that fashion. And I've been trying to figure out how best I can do it. Well, then the other day, um, there was, I can't remember who posted it, but somebody had made a drawstring bag that was completely knitted, like top to bottom. Um, the main fabric was knitted, the drawstring casing was knitted, and the they did like an eye cord out of the same color yarn for the drawstring cord. And I thought that was really neat. That is probably, I mean, I can't imagine that works up quickly. So it's probably not going to be something that I ever sell, but I do really want to make a fully knitted one for myself. I do have a few different skeins of yarn that I could use for it. And I have thought about using some of my minis and just doing like a pretty fade or something even that looks a little scrappy. But then while I was looking through my yarn, I remembered I have this from Moonlit Fiber or Moonlit Yarns. I keep wanting to say Moonlit Fibers for some reason. So pretty. I was gonna do socks out of these, but I have so much sock yarn and I have so many socks that I'm planning on making and I just think this would be such a beautiful bag. So I might make it out of this. Um, I can't remember what the bag pattern is, but I will list that down below in the description. That's really all I had to talk to you guys about today. I know I kind of sped through it. I have quite a bit of house cleaning I need to do before we have people over on Saturday. You may have noticed my hair is darker. My friend came over last week and dyed it for me. Um, and that was really nice. I'm glad to have a little bit of a fresh color now. Um, I used to, for as long as I can remember, I've always gone back and forth between like bleach blonde and really, really, really dark. And, um, Last time I had my hair done, I tried to get a little bit closer to my natural color. So the color of my hair that you've seen in past podcasts, that has been closer to my natural color, but I was ready to go dark again. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have to share with you guys this week. I hope you have a wonderful fourth. If you live in America, if you don't, I hope you have a wonderful Thursday and I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.